Hey, it's me, and I just wanted to share with you a nifty little gamification mechanic I came up with just today. And this is awarding your users points for every nth time they've done something in your app. So <clears throat> maybe it's every 10 messages they send or every five projects that they create or something like that. So there's some sort of interval, right? And I'll, I'll be able to award them on a recurring basis. And so as you can see here, I've already done this once for messages. So here I've done a relation to the messages that they've created, counted them, then did a mod formula to grab every fifth, and then I have an if then else, and a timestamp column to say when the last time it was that they had claimed. So here, Let's go ahead and do this another one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's say every five projects that this person creates, uh, we're gonna award them uh, 100 points, right? So we'll do something like this. We're gonna say, uh, first off, relation to whatever list it is, in this case, projects. So I'm gonna relate my email to my projects created by and match multiple. Okay, we're gonna grab a count. So we're gonna count projects, and this will be a roll-up column. And we're gonna roll up our projects. We'll just get the board ID. All right, so we can see I've created four projects right now. That's perfect, because I want every five, right? So here I'm gonna do uh, every fifth project equals zero. That's because we're using a mod formula. Mod formulas work really handy when talking about intervals of things or switches. So here we're gonna do um, mod, and then we're gonna say the count projects, and then every five. If you're not familiar with a mod formula, basically it gets the remainder, right? So if I have four, right? If it's a four, but I'm, Dividing it into five, well, there's no remainder yet, so I still have four. But if I have six, well, six goes into five one time, and then I have one left over. So if the value is six, my remainder is a one, and so this would be a one. So this would basically count every interval of the number that you select here. All right, so you see here this is a four, but let's say once my count gets to five, you see it goes back to zero again, all right? I right, wanna keep it at, at this. All right, so now we've gotten every fifth is gonna equal a zero. All right, so now we're gonna do an if then else to say whether or not they should earn it. Um, actually, first we're gonna do a user specific column here. So let's do a user specific date time. Um, it could be a Boolean, that's fine too, but uh, I just like using timestamps when it refers to um, completing things. So we're gonna say last claimed uh, project points. All right, and now my if then else. So we're gonna say award project points. And this will be an if then else. And we're gonna say first off, if there's no projects, so if the count projects equals zero, then false. Okay. Otherwise, if the last claimed project points is not empty, meaning that there's a timestamp in there, then true, okay, else false. Cool. All right, so then what we're gonna do here is whenever we uh, create a new project, when it becomes that fifth project and this equals a zero, we're gonna check to see if this equals zero. And if it does, then we're gonna write in a timestamp, which will mark this true. And when this is true, we're gonna display a button to have no award points, right? All right, so let's go to where we create projects. See, it's in my projects tab here. All right, so this will be on submit. We already have an action here. All right, so we actually have an if then else, which means we probably need to do this twice. All right, so if 
it's not private, it's public. We're gonna set the columns, else we're just setting columns. Um, and in either case, we need to do a check. Let's see if it's not private. Uh, how do I wanna do this? So we might need to actually double the amount of actions here. All right, so if board visibility is not private and my user um, every fifth project equals zero doesn't equal zero, then we'll do this. Okay, else, oops. I erased what else what could we be doing here. Hold on, let's go back into that. And user um, every fifth project equals zero, doesn't equal zero. Okay, then continue on as normal. Okay, if board visibility is not private. Okay, if board visibility it is not private and every fifth project does equal zero that means we need to award some points because they've reached that fifth project now this won't equal zero on the first project because this is on submission. And so after they submit their first project, then it'll equal one. And so this will always never, this, this will always uh, equal zero on project five and 10 and 15, never on project zero, that's good. All right, we just gotta basically just duplicate this. So in this set columns in this row, we're doing this board members as temp project chat members. So set column, this row, where board members is user temp project chat members. Okay, and we're setting the row created by, we're clearing these assigned project, project chat members, assigned to project chat, project chat members. Okay. So set column in my relation to user. So we're clearing this and clearing this. That's the other stuff. Okay, but then the actual point to the points is where it says this last claim project points, we're actually gonna set the timestamp like that. Cool. All right, else, um, if now we're going to do if every fifth project equals zero equals zero, then we're just going to set columns by clearing the value of the temp project chat members. So set columns in the row created by um, and this is the timestamp. Then what was this one? Row, um, clear value of the chat members. Clear value of the chat members. Okay, and if it does, uh, if it does not equal zero, that means they don't be awarded points yet. So we're not sending a timestamp. We're gonna leave that one in. Is all right. So I've been doing created by, created by, created by. I should probably do the same thing here. Created by, not real user. Okay. All right. So that should work. Save. All right, so I'm at four projects at the moment. Remember, back in my my tally here is at four. 
So when I create that fifth project, it's going to notice that this is at zero, and it should write a timestamp here, which makes this true. So let's see if that works. I'm going to create a new project. Fifth project. Testing points. Submit. All right. So I have my fifth project. Let's see if that logic worked. And look at that. So yeah, so it knew this was a zero. So then it wrote in a timestamp. So now I have this check mark. So now all I have to do is display a button that will award me some points. And then I can clear this, which makes this false. So we're going to go back to my user dashboard here and display a button. Now I've already made a button for chat points. I'm just going to clone it. And we'll call this one project points. And I'm going to give 100 points, fine. So 100 points for five projects created. And play a sound. I'm going to set the columns to clear. You can't see it. Uh, set to clear, not my project anymore, but I'm going to clear my project points. Sorry, yes, I'm going to clear my project points. So then that way it marks it as false again. And I'm going to increment my point value by 100. Save. All right, so now I have this button called project points. And the only visibility condition is to show when not when award chat points is true, but when award project points is true. So there we go. So now I got a button here and that's going to award me 100 points. Right now my total tally is at 945. So that should put me at 1045. And then I should hide this button. There we go. So five project points created. So now on my next fifth projects, when I reach 10 projects, that button will reappear again. So I'm planning on adding this button for a variety of things within the app. And it's possible that they might have some stacked buttons on top here, right? So you might see like three or four if they have three or four conditions apply. And then they can get to go through and just go click, 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 click and earn those 100 points for all those different uh, situations in the app. So hopefully this helps and uh, kind of can show you how you can do some interval-based gamification mechanics in your app.